Hey, in this video, we'll be looking at how to import and export data in and out of Google Sheets from rows. Let's get started. So for the purposes of this demo, I've created a sample Google Sheet right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this URL. On our row spreadsheet, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Actions, start looking up for some of the Sheets functions right here. What we want to start with is to be able to fetch data from Google Sheets inside rows. And for that, we'll use the get cells Google Sheets functions right here. As for the URL, I'm just gonna paste the URL that we copied from the step before. And in terms of the range, I'm going to specify a colon D. Let's just check that. Yeah, that's a colon D all the way through and then click on add function in A1. Once the function is executed, you can then click on this yellow label, click on create data table. For the table headers, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the drop down, select values right here. In terms of the table destination, I'm going to remove the A2 and click on cell A1 of our table 2 right there. Once good, you can then click on the create data table option right here. Now, imagine in this case, we have a list of names as well as the domain and we need the email, right? For instance, I'm going to go ahead and use our find email function to get the emails for all of these names right here. I'm going to drag this function all the way down, give it a quick minute. Once the function is executed, you will see that we have emails for all of these names right here. And now imagine if you wanted to push this data back inside Google Sheets, the way to go about doing that is once again, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the actions element right here, search for our Sheets functions. And in this case, I'm going to use the update cells Google Sheets options right here. Uh, in terms of the data, that would be, I'm gonna go ahead and select an equals and select all of this information right here. In terms of the destination, we need the data to fit into the range A1 to D7. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that real quick. In terms of the URL, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it back right here. Once good, once again, we can go ahead and click on the add function in cell E2 right here. Give it a quick minute there. And once the function is executed, you can go check back your Google Sheet. And there you have it, the data is now updated. I hope this video helped and thanks for watching.